So welcome to Klokana Kharige, a century place where the monks would come to pray. And it's interesting that in the early Christian church, the monks were often sent to places of great hardship and great extremity. And they would stay in a place like this here. And they would do their lockdown for 40 days and for more. And the idea was that there was no distraction between them and their God. And thinking of just that recent gospel where we hear in Mark how uh, Jesus went into the wilderness to pray, that he was there with the animals and he was there with the wild beasts. And I think what can happen sometimes when we're forced into a kind of a lockdown or a place where our ordinary supports and comforts aren't there, that sometimes feelings or experiences that have been pushed aside come to the surface and some of them can feel like wild beasts, they can feel like little demons. But in some ways, I suppose this opportunity um, of even having been through a great pause uh, in our lives with this pandemic and now stepping into Lent, that we have time to reflect and to really process and to pray maybe some of the harder experiences. And so focusing on the light, and focusing on that journey through death and resurrection, we can actually join the monks in this special little place. And I'm going to try and see if I can get myself through that little doorway and bring you with me. What an amazing place when you think of it. This is where uh, these monks came to find their God and to find an opportunity to be in the stillness, focusing on the light. So very little inside here, very little amenities. And what you can see over here in the corner, I hope, is that I have lit um, the candle for your intentions. So let's just come here together and have a look at this candle. And hopefully you can see it there, lit for you in this ancient place dating back to the 5th century. And you can see that their only focus was on the light, uh, the light that brought them uh, a little bit of relief from the darkness they were experiencing maybe in coming into a challenge like that. So uh, with that in mind, we're going to stay focused on the light and uh, we're going to use the symbol of the lighthouse, a really important symbol for us here on the islands in terms of direction and guidance and especially through stormy waters. So using that image, we're going to listen to this prayer chant, which is called Live in Hope, for nothing is impossible with love. Or Live in Hope, for nothing is impossible with God. Enjoy. Have a good week and I look forward to connecting with you again next week. It's long before.
impossible with love.